Hi friends, Anna here with Anna's Wonderland and I am here to share my latest little creation and I made another ephemera holder. Look at how cute! And I, um, using one of my new collections, I don't have it in my Etsy yet. I still have to finalize it. But these are like the prints that um, I print out just to see, okay, you know, how it looks. And this is the final for this page. And look at how pretty. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, I'm inspired by like kind of like the Sistine Chapel type of thing and cherubs and, you know, something so ethereal and I don't know. But anyways, and the clouds and everything. So here it is. Okay, so just like my other one, I added this little um, elastic band and I added some of these tile-like buttons. They're so cool, like, I don't know, I, they're some sort of tile, I want to say. These are definitely vintage. I don't know if they're antique, but they're definitely vintage. So cute. And so it just has this little um, closure here, which you can actually remove it if you wish to make it longer or shorter, or you can change your own closure. So then I have tied it here with some sari silk. And again, you can also remove the sari silk. You can add more layers to this if you wish. Okay. Um, I did some gold, a little bit of gold distressing. Um, I left a lot of these little stringies here for you to cut off if you want but I kind of like that distressed look here's more of that gold so pretty I just love this image okay so we are gonna open it here we go okay and again uh, the ephemera that's in here there's no particular pattern no particular reason of just other than to show you the pockets that this has in okay so yeah so right here we have this little pocket there we have another pocket there and then we have some longer pockets here look at this so pretty and then we have this pocket here and look at how pretty this is love it and yes guys this is going to be available in my etsy as soon as this video is up okay and then right here these pages i already had them printed out and i just wanted to just like my other one it's, it's a good way to kind of use your scraps or just your random pages so that's what i did here these are just like extra pages I had. And I added some of my French wallpaper washi. Okay, and then right here we have a little pocket here. We have a side pocket here. Another pocket here. And then another side pocket here, which goes all the way over here. So cute, I love that center of the file folders or the ephemera holders and then I love using the brown um, craft tape just to give it that more antique look and then right here we have another pocket which is facing this way excuse me another pocket this way look at how cute these tiny little um, memdex cards and then right here we have a long pocket here and this is what that looks like. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love these butterflies. So pretty. And then I love the little tab we have going on here. And that's just a little pocket here. Look at how cute that is. Okay. And then right here we have a longer pocket type of thing. And up here is another pocket that's also um, long. Okay. And then back here, I left it like a, a jumbo tuck spot. So it's just sewn like an L shape. 
So you can put your larger ephemera pieces or whatever. This is just a double printed page that I had done. And it's just a little extra that I had. And I also added the little extra piece of the wrapping paper. And this is like a textured ribbed, uh, ribbed, is that what you call it? Ra uh, wrapping paper and it's pretty sturdy, pretty thick. And look at how pretty this image is. Isn't it just adorable? Look at the little cherubs. Aren't they just so cute? I just love them, friends. So cute. And then back here, I have another image here that I just love. Adorable. So cute. So yes, guys, this little, well, not so little. It's about eight and a half by 11 in width. The size of a full page, because I love to use full pages on um, on these uh, projects. Love to use full pages, but um, yeah, let's do just a little re quick review here. Adding these back here. And these little ephemeral holders were inspired by Heather. So cute. This is a little leftover piece I had from uh, Raindrop Lila. Okay. And then this goes here. This goes here. I just love these little embossed um, memory decks. Okay, and then you close it. And then you add your little elastic. And there you go, friends. So cute. Adorbs. So yes. Okay, so I have another project I want to share with you. And this too will be in my Etsy. Look at how cute. It is a tall journal. So cute with some Indian paper. I just love it. So we're going to open this like this. And then right off the bat, we have this adorable little card or tag. Look at how pretty that is. I use some of this tool that I got from um, Gingy's Journey. Thank you, Arlene. That's so cute. And look at this, isn't that just adorbs? I just love the little butterfly. So cute. And then right here we have a little tuck there and we have a little tuck there. And I've had this journal for a couple weeks done already. I just haven't, I couldn't get myself to just make a video on it. <laughs> I think I had some special orders and I just wanted to give those priority. Okay, and then we have a vintage, antique, possibly French playing card. And then right here we have just another card that you can make of it as you want. And then right here there's just secret pockets here. There's a long pocket here. And this is my... Um, dream what is it called I forget the name but this is one of my newest ones look at how pretty and this one too this is my fairy tale one and this I got in a happy mail this was I think from Australia or the UK but I love the way this paper feels definitely a vintage book and then we have a secret spot right there and then this is one of my ledgers as well. Look at how pretty this printed out. Some book pages uh, on birds, some vintage ledger, more of my botanical ledger prints. This is from a watercolor paper. 
we have some little tags here there's definitely a lot of room here for you to collage on that's the purpose of this one here for you to collage on i love how this feels this is that japanese calligraphy paper this is from my maximalist collection and then this is from the book of versailles i believe this is my carlota paper a girl of my dreams that's the name of this collection here this is one of the sheets that goes there girl of my dreams so pretty oh i love this this is one of my digitals as well this one too i just love how these came out so pretty i just love this one here i know it's blown up a lot but i just love it <laughs> So pretty and this was watercolored avocado dyed another tag that you can embellish and collage on and then these little pockets have embossed embossed features look at how pretty I was gonna take a picture of this Where am I? Okay, wait, I'm lost here. Okay, here we go. Ledger paper. Look at how pretty that is. And then right here we have another little tuck. And then here's Girl of My Dreams. A little tuck here. So pretty. My fairy tale collection. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my goodness. I love this. I think my next ephemera holder is going to be using this Girl of My Dreams collection. And then I made a little tag here that you can add some little secret journaling in there. This is a vintage, possibly antique uh, postcard. Or no, 1937. Isn't that pretty? This little tuck right there. Okay, this is the end of that signature. Now we're going to turn it to the second signature. I love this Indian style paper. This is, uh, I think I got it from Joanne's. And then right here I have my letters to Dolores and another jumbo tag that you can collage on or keep it as is. And then we have another secret compartment here. This is also from the girl of my dreams, but I cut her, I cut the tag out and I just put it here. And this is so you can collage on. And this is just a decoration here with this embossed paper. This opens like this, like this. A lot of room for you to collage. I love this one here. I don't know what collection this is, but it's one of my favorite ones because this is authentic wallpaper that I bought from France, vintage wallpaper. I just love this mustard color, my maximalist, and I just felt like it went well with this, with the birds. Vintage ledger, avocado dyed, another pocket here. Um, I don't know, this is my French garden. Another one for Versailles. More of that uh, Japanese calligraphy. Love this. Isn't that pretty? Is this a tuck? I think this has a little, oh yeah, this has a little tuck right here. Little pocket. And this here, oh my gosh. Okay, I had to take a picture of this because I had cut it already and I forgot I wanted to keep this page. <laughs> it has this, uh, it has dessert um, recipes. Oh my gosh. Look at how, mm, yum. Yeah, I take a picture of all of these. Cherry delight. Oh, I love cherry. Did you know that the Aztecs used to make cherry tamales, like a dessert? Oh my gosh. I need to find some. They, we make strawberry ones, pineapple ones. We make sweet corn ones. The pineapple ones usually have raisins, which I don't like raisins. The strawberry ones, I love them. If they're really good, I don't mind the raisins. <laughs> but I'm, I think I should tell my mom to make some cherry ones. 
And then right here we have some vintage paper with some watercoloring that I did. Does this have a pocket here? Usually these I make with little secret pockets, see? I like to do secret journaling and, you know, stuff like that. Girl of my dreams. I just love this. I love this. I love the color. The, the, the real one, the color is a little bit more richer. You know, when you scan them, they just kind of go a little bit muted. But I still love it. Here's another vintage little recipe. I don't know what this is for, but I didn't want to um, cover it all so you can, you know, you can possibly figure it out and use it. Okay, crepes. This is this was the main thing. But I also, I don't know, I just, oh my gosh. I know how to make crepes, but I wanted to just to have an actual different recipe. Crepes are so easy. I don't know what these are, vineyard hermits. Look at, oh, and some Amity Bloom washi. And I made a little pocket there. Look at how gorgeous she is. She's just like a little goddess. Okay. Love, oh, this is one of my favorite sheets to use. Love those roses. Look at how pretty that is. So pretty. Oh, I just love this page too. I don't know if this is my French garden or, or the floral market. I don't know, but I love it. Girl of my dreams again, another little secret pocket. You can definitely collage over this. Look at how pretty, this actually is also a antique wallpaper that I have that I'm, it's gonna be a washi tape sooner or later. And this is another secret tuck spot here. And see, this is my French washi tape and it's the same one I used here, the wallpaper. So yeah, I, I have like three or four pieces of different kinds that I'm turning into washi. Adorbs, you could get the washi tape now. I think I have nine left overall and the next batch is gonna be different, a different color, probably blue. I think I have a blue one too. But anyways, guys, these are my little projects here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the little flip through. And you guys can get these in my Etsy. They will be up. Uh, if you're watching this video, then these are already up. So thank you so much for your support. Well, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.